All right. So today we're going to be talking about Automate and DocuSign. So pushing the platform. Thanks, David, for uh, making a lot of P, uh, what is that? As uh, alliteration, not assonance, uh, to get this title together. Um, I'm going to start with like an introduction to myself and then we'll go into the demo. I will be honest, the demo gods are not on my side today. So you will get to see a little bit of the oopsie. Oh, well, sorry. Uh, <laughs> and we'll just keep rolling. All right, let's see. All right, so a little bit about me. I am the real Azure, uh, the baby cloud. I'm a senior consultant at Hitachi Solutions. I'm based out of Montgomery County, Maryland, which is about 30 minutes outside Washington, DC. Um, I'm a Microsoft Biz Apps MVP. And fun fact, my background is not in tech. So my background's in biochemistry and manufacturing. I worked for pharmaceutical plants for about eight years before I discovered Power Automate. And then as you can see, Azure, Automate, Flomanced, we're together forever. Um, absolutely love Automate. I discovered it in 2019 on the job and then officially transitioned into consulting uh, last winter, I guess last February. Uh, some other things about me, I'm a long distance runner and I really like spicy agua or sparkling water. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about DocuSign. If you're not familiar with this, DocuSign is an e-signature tool where you can send and receive uh, secured documents. Um, I purchased my house over the course of the pandemic, like in 2020, and because nobody was going outside and people didn't want to share pens because, you know, germs, uh, a lot of my document signing was using electronic signatures, uh, depended on if it was the bank or real estate agent. It might have been Adobe, it might have been DocuSign, but all of them do something very similar Similar, which is kind of eliminating this need for having to be in a place with a physical pen to sign a document. This is especially helpful uh, when you've got people in various locations too, and you can't all be in the same room. Also, I know we've all had um, scenarios where somebody will send us like a PDF of something that they want us to sign off on, and then they send it to us via email, and then you have to have a printer, or you have to go to FedEx or Kinko's or whatever to print it out, and then sign it, and then maybe scan it back in. And I have to be honest, I'm a millennial and I don't own a printer at this point. So I spend a lot of time at Kinko's. Um, so what we can do with DocuSign is kind of eliminate some of this manual weight as well. And I'll explain in our use case how this will be applicable too. Uh, so this little graphic is saying, hey, we can take some data from a system, from a computer, right? If we're trying to get rid of our manual thing, we can put it inside a document, which is what's there in the middle. And then we can have DocuSign shuttle this to a recipient, right, via email. Um, and they'll click on a button and I'll show you what this looks like too. And then we can return even some of that data back to a system or just keep the document, right, and file it away somewhere. Uh, DocuSign has a portal, which technically we aren't going to touch. Traditionally, what you would do is if you have a document that needs to be signed or you're sending to somebody, you would log into the portal, you would upload a document, you would add some tags to say this is the information I need you to fill in. You might put some pre-populated data in there and then you'd send it to the person. But the thing is, what if you have a high volume of documents or something that you're doing on a more repetitive basis? Um, and so in our use case, we're going to pretend that we're a human resources group and we're sending out job offers to celebrities who are now going to be part of Baby Cloud uh, Inc. So I'm going to go into the demo to show you how we can do this. All right, so I have, um, we're pretending like this is our system. Sorry, I will increase this because I have a large screen. And we have uh, Baby Cloud Inc. That's going to be my company. And we see we've got some celebrities employed in here at this point. Anne Hathaway is our newest candidate. She's decided to retire from um, the Princess Diaries. And she is now going to be a software developer here at Baby Cloud Inc. Okay. She's going to be making some really cool stuff. Um, so we've taken her employee profile, right? Normally, this might be a, a paper form. We have now converted our form into an app. And so now HR has, has the job to take care of the onboarding documents, the sending of the job offer, right? And if you've got a bunch of people onboarding throughout the year, right, our offer letters, if we're doing them manually, are going to look different for each person, right? Everybody has a different name phone number, what the salary is, their start date, and having to type this in manually each time is going to be a bit cumbersome. So let's take a look at the job offer letter template that I have. Let's increase this again. 
And so this is what my template's going to look like. Right now, I've had to set up a document with some fields. So we're going to use some dynamic content from Power Automate to fill in some of this data. And then, so we have employee name, employee address, a few other things. Um, and then I have some fields. This is just some onboarding documentation. I'm sending everything in one package just for simplicity's sake. Um, down here, I have information that I need the employee to fill in now. So they're filling out like an employee profile, right? So it could be, uh, I already have their name, I have their address, but I don't have their cell phone number, I don't have their social security number, their emergency contacts or anything. So in this case, I can request from the user, instead of them having to print out a form and send it back to me, I can have them fill everything out in DocuSign and I can get that information back. We could even report that data back to the model-driven app as well if we wanted to, and I'm not going to show that today, but kind of the possibilities are a little endless. So we've got a template here that we're going to use. Normally, we'd fill this out by hand. We're going to use DocuSign to help us populate some of this and a fair amount of automate um, to get this done. And so what's going to happen is we're going to send this document to Anne Hathaway. She's got her, I'm, I'm in her email inbox right now. Shh, don't, don't tell her. But we're going to be able to open up the document and see and be able to sign for it and everything and then get a response back, okay? Okay, so we've got a couple of flows that are attached to this too. I'm explaining a little bit of the background because once I hit the button, it does everything for us. Um, so we've got a flow, I think it's this one, which is the whole gambit of what we're doing. So on the back end, we've got Dataverse, uh, where we're storing all of our data right from our model-driven app. And we say, get me the data from the employee record. And if we say in our, in our app, we have some onboarding tasks um, that I have created in here. We have email onboarding forms. And if we navigate to here, we have, um, information right that we need to put in some notes and then we have do we want to send the onboarding documents yes or no and upon the trigger of um, this toggle and we save the record it's going to start this flow and so what the flow is doing is once that toggle is uh it's toggled to yes, we're then going to do a bunch of stuff. So I've taken a Microsoft Word template. So we've taken our job offer letter. We are then going to create a copy of it with Anne Hathaway's name and the day's date. We're going to set a bit of a delay because then we need to fetch from that document that information so we can then put it in a DocuSign envelope, right? So we're doing two parts. We have information that we would like to add to um the file and then we also have information that uh, we need to get from Anne Hathaway right so we need to create some fields so we can return some responses so there's a ton of steps in here effectively we create a DocuSign envelope um, so this is going to be the email that comes in it's going to come from DocuSign saying congratulations Anne um, please see you know the enclosed letter and please sign the documents. And then what we have to do is we have to create a bunch of tabs. So in our job offer template, this is these are our tabs. This is the way we have to signify kind of our tags or anchors to say, can you put a blank field here for somebody to fill in? So the ones with the slashes are for DocuSign. The ones with the square brackets are for the dynamic content that we are putting inside of um, the document. OK. I think that is, there's a lot of tabs here, so don't worry. And this is where the demo guys are just like, eh, we're going to give you two today. We're going to give you two tabs. So don't worry about it. You'll get the gist of it. And I put these all in a scope because there's so many, right? And you can understand that if you're having to manually fill out this document every single time, you've got 15 fields, it can get a little tiresome. Um, and so after we set all the tabs, we are then going to send the envelope to the person. And then I have one more flow. So when we are finished, when somebody signs off on the document in DocuSign, we then just go create a copy of it and stick it in a document library. And it's gonna give us the PDF and everything that Anne Hathaway's filled in. So then there again, we have less paper. Okay, I hope that kind of sets a little bit of the stage uh, for how we do this, because once I hit this button, it's really gonna take 30 seconds and then we're done. And that's why we automate things because it makes it quick and easy. Okay. Let's see. All right, so we have Anne. I'm gonna say Anne looks great on the team. I'm just gonna check to see if um let's see. I'm gonna change her. She's full time. She's a software developer. 
just going to watch Princess Diaries all day um, and bring donuts on Friday because I feel like that should be good. We're going to say she's going to make 70K and we can't wait to meet her. Right. Her, men's, her, her uh, manager is also going to be Denzel Washington because that seems appropriate. So I'm going to be the HR contact. We're going to save this. And then we're going to go over to our onboarding tasks for DocuSign. And so I have assigned myself to the task. And we're just going to go over here and click on send onboarding documents, say that this task is in progress, and we're going to save and close. And then now we wait for the magic to happen. So it'll probably take about 30 seconds behind the scenes. Let's see if we can do, 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 do. go find. Let's see. I think it's this one. Yeah. Let's see it running. All right, it's running. So it should run all the way through. Nothing terribly exciting is going to happen. This condition step takes a while because I have to build in a delay. Um, when you are creating a file and then need to get additional content from it, you have to wait for the file to be created. So the delay is the one that takes a little bit of time and then adding all of the DocuSign actions in here. So it's adding a bunch of the tabs. Looks like it's doing pretty well. OK, and we should receive an email. There we go. We've got an offer of employment from should be. Well, it won't let me do it. Baby Cloud Inc. So we've now got this everything that we've put in this offer letter right now is in one really sweet package in DocuSign and doesn't even have to log into a portal. She doesn't have to do anything right now. We go on. Let's review this document and we were able to put in text, right? I was able to use some dynamic content to say, please return this to me in a week. Um, this is when your offer is going to expire. So let's review the document. And again, no login needed at all. So this is great for right now and is external to our organization. So we couldn't send her, say, an approval via email just to say, are you accepting or no, you're not. So that's why we're going this DocuSigner out. Um, and so it's got Anne's name. We pulled this content from the model driven app um, and we're going to go ahead and say, yes, we want to read disclosures. And look, we have a fully created offer letter with specific information to Anne, so her her address, her um, her what am I trying to say, her title, when she's starting, what her job description is, everything that we pulled from there, right? And it has me as the HR representative. So there's nothing for her to do here except to read. But if we scroll down, we've got some additional things like here's how you can do your training. Here's how you can do a few other things. Um, we have a few areas where Anne needs to fill it. And all this employee information, right, also came from the model driven app. There's no reason for her to keep repeating the information that she's done. And then this is where the demo gods go, uh, said not today. One, one thing that I didn't do before I pressed uh, play on this is you see the black text behind these boxes. You have to make them invisible, but I did want to show you what the fields looked like. So what I should have done was I should have made all of this text white. So it's invisible. However, we Power Automate can still see the anchors in the background. So it's not supposed to look at that one, um, one tip. Uh, but here's where it's going to start doing a few funky things. So I'm going to put in my cell phone number. Yeah. So we're just repeating everything here, and this is not supposed to happen. So there you go. Demo gods for one. Uh, but emergency contact information is going to do the same exact thing. Once I figure out uh, what I did this time, I'll be sure to let you know. Anyway, we'll pretend yeah. Anne's put in her information right. HR is like, cool, we got this. Anne's then going to sign this form and we get to decide, like, do you want to use the generic DocuSign signature here? Do you want to draw your own? Do you want to upload your own? You can do any of them. We're just going to say whatever's here is fine. We're going to adopt and sign and then we just say approve. I'm going to say no thanks. I don't want a copy of the document, but this would be really helpful for Anne's records if she wanted to do that. So we're going to say no thanks. And ta-da, we are finished signing. Um, and so I end up getting, because it's tied to my Hitachi account, um, I end up getting an email saying, hey, Anne Hathaway has filled out her uh, documentation. Um, and if we wanted to do additional, let me show you. 
Yep. So Anne Hathaway has viewed an offer, right? And so we have a copy of the document. This gets saved in the DocuSign portal. Uh, but what we also did was said, why don't we just make a copy of this and stick it in SharePoint? That way we don't even have to touch the portal whatsoever, right? So we should have one more thing. Let's go check in our new hire sign documents. It says it's empty and it shouldn't because it gave us a document. So maybe it's just taking a little bit of time. Thanks, demo gods. Appreciate it. Okay, well, I think uh, that's uh, there. We go. Perfect. So we've got the document that was created from the offer template that we had to pull content from to then make the DocuSign envelope. And we could go ahead and delete this word document like once we're you know finished with it because Anne's not going to need it. We're not going to need the offer letter again unless Anne comes back and says, "Hey." I need a little bit more money, which is possible. So we could leave that, but this would give us the signed copy of Anne Hathaway's um, offer letter, right? And pending everything had worked properly, would be actually be able to see it. But we can see her signature here. Um, and then DocuSign gives you the ability to say, when did the person sign it in some extra documentation? So that is pretty much the completion of my demo. I'll go back to my slides for like two seconds. Um, there you go. Technology. So if you would like to start using DocuSign, you can sign up for a free DocuSign developer account. Uh, when you work in Power Automate, there is a DocuSign like regular kind of account that you have, which you have to pay for, but DocuSign's been doing some really, really cool stuff so that you can use this for free. So you sign up with an account and then there's a connector that is a DocuSign demo connector that you would use with that. It's free 99. John Levesque, who used to work for Microsoft, now works for DocuSign, and he's been really amped up about uh, making this work. You should take, uh, take a look at some of his videos for, for DocuSign that he has on YouTube. It's a great uh, way to figure out how many more things you could do with this. And then the last step is profit. And that's it. Thank you very much. If you want to connect with me, you can find me on the interwebs here.